All right, guys. So I want to do a review and box opening of this gaming desktop by MSI. And these are some of the specs for it. So Windows 10, 3080 Ti for the card, and uh, i9 11th gen, 64 RAM, and two different two terabyte drives. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm excited. Uh, let's see. Pull it back a little bit. Got the power cable. Connect to monitors. Well. Got the keyboard. All righty, let's see what we've got. LED, we got the uh, Headphones, microphone, USB regular, USB C power. Okay. What do we have up here? Not much. And we've got, please remove foam before powering. Okay. Let's check out in the back. So in the back we have HDMI, different USBs, C, internet, and the Wi-Fi, the card, that's the most expensive part right here. Obviously the power. And uh, Let's see what's inside. Okay, let's look inside. What do we have? We've got GeForce RTX uh, Let's see Oh, it's 850 for the power Good stuff And some connections still available Not much Got two fans here, three fans on in the front and then this is for the hard drive if you want to have additional stuff all right the moment of truth Damn. check this out Cool. Get 
I need to set this up. That's the speed and temperature. from the front so I switched the uh, went to settings and then for boot option one I put the hard drive and then you can drag and drop it here so hopefully it's gonna start Okay, first time starting. Let's save it. Hopefully the moment of truth. Yay! Just a moment. Okay, we're good to go. Okay guys, so on a brand new computer, it always kept going on uh, to this bio screen, can't do anything. So click on the settings right here, click on the boot. Once you're in the boot system, in the middle, boot option one, click on that and make sure this is the option it's not just the hard disk, it's the hard disk Windows Boot Manager under the first one. Once you do that, you should be good to go to get started and have the setup screen. Hopefully that helps. All right, so finally got to this screen. Get a Windows 11. So right here, Windows 10 is on this side. Windows 11 is more in the middle. Let's see. I guess it's switching to Windows 11 and not 10. Free upgrade. All right, so this is what came up. Looks like it's still Windows uh, 10. Uh, we we'll probably will need to change that. Let's see how to do it. All right, so finally here, let's go ahead and go to settings, system, and you can see that it's 11th gen generation. Windows 11 is downloading. That's good news. 64 RAM. Okay, we'll see how Windows 11 will look. All right, so it looks like Windows 11 downloaded. Now time to restart. Restarting the computer so Windows 11 will be installed. All right, here we go. Windows 11. And this is how it looks. Bam. Let's see, first impression, oh, because this is the start button. Settings. C. 
system. Oh. All right. About. 11 Gen i9. 64 RAM. Boom. Let's see if there's more updates. So there's more updates available. Okay. Well, there you guys have it. For Windows 11, how it looks. Again, it's right here. This is how the files look like. Let me see if I can put a shortcut. Two shortcuts. Okay. All right. Boom. Two drives. What do you guys think? Have you used uh, Windows 11? Let me know. So finally everything is set up just for computer. And here's the beast. i9. This is how it looks. Pretty cool. Look at the card, 380 Ti, and then in the back, let me get the light. So this is how it looks in the back. And then the the video card okay hopefully there's two more spots for other things you can squeeze in right there you can see it other than that that should be it we'll see how it performs and if you using the same one comment below any questions or if you use a similar one or like this, how you like it. All right.